So in this part of the series of BGP and OSPF uh, part four, we will be putting OSPF into BGP and we will see how the 100 prefix right here is going to get learned by redistribution on this router. So we're going to put OSPF into BGP on this router here. And once that happens, or we are basically putting OSPF information into BGP and then BGP would, since it's already getting, got the peers up from the last video, the routing information will automatically go into its neighbors. And in this case, VOS4. So we'll see that VOS4 will get the route 100.111. And then we'll see if we can uh, reach this prefix from four. And if not, then why not? Okay, let's uh, get going. Let's go to VOS2. And uh, VOS2 is right here. <clears throat> so we'll do, I don't know which edit mode I am in, configure. We'll go into, since we're putting OSBF into BGP, we'll have to go into uh, BGP configuration. So we'll do edit protocol BGP. And the AS number, I believe, is 12. And then we'll also do address family by pv4 edit and then we're going to say set redistribute since we're putting ospf we're going to say redistribute ospf metric could be anything you want we just put it as one right now <clears throat> enter and with this, you should see the 100111 prefix in, in 4. Let's go check it out in 4. Um, run the show IP route. And do we have it? Yes, we do have it. Okay. <clears throat> show IP route. Match PGP got 100 and the 222 is basically the loop pack of router 2. Can we reach it? <clears throat> Notice the, the next top here. It's coming through 10242, which is uh, right here. 10242 is the next top for reaching this prefix. 10242, 10244. Okay, can we reach it? What are we trying to reach? We're trying to reach 100. And we cannot reach it. Why? Let's go check it out on VOS1, because that's where it's coming from. So we say monitor traffic. Interface, any filter, IC, MP. And we can see that <clears throat> the 1011 prefix is replying back to 10244, which is this guy, right? And it's, it's getting the packet, but when it's replying back to 10244, you need to make sure that 10 to 4 network is in the routing table, which it, it's not. 10 to 4, 0 is not here. So there's two ways to get the round trip traffic going. One way is to uh, put a static default route here. Uh, the other way is put a default route in OSPF. And we can do that by saying set protocol OSPF area one default 
information originate always. So before I commit, notice that there is no default route coming from OSPF here on VOS4. So once we do this, this should start pinging as well. There you go. And in this guy, we got a default route. So now he's got a full route. So he's he's sending the packets via default to him. And now he can ping back to him. I don't need to, we don't need to advertise this transit link back into the network. We just can you know attract all, all the traffic going out to the border gateway router, and that's what we did. So this is redistribution of OSPF into BGP and then having OSPF originate a default route so that the traffic goes through. Um, the next part is to do the same on this side, just to put OSPF from here to here and originate the default to him. Uh, I'll let you do that and have some practice.